Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best apps that you can use on your iPhone with the Dynamic Island. Now, of course, the Dynamic Island is quite useful if you have the right apps and you know how to use it. It's actually pretty cool and it will have some amazing new features. So we're starting things off with Control Bar. Now, Control Bar lets you control your music and it has a lot of cool features. Like you can see right here, if I expand the Dynamic Island, I will have here my controls for my music. In this case, I'm using Spotify, so it does work with Spotify and Apple Music as well. I can turn up the volume from here. Of course, I can skip backwards, forwards, turn on the shuffle, or in this case with Spotify, I can add a song to my favorite. Now, if I go into the app, I can customize this. So you can see right here, we have these buttons that you just saw right there, but we can tap the edit button. And then I will have a list of different buttons here that I can actually add to the dynamic island and of course, save them from here. Activity Builder is the next app for the video. Now this app offers a few different things that you can have on your dynamic island, like info regarding your device, your health data, the weather for a current location, maybe your calendar events, reminders, or any like different social media activities. Now what you can do here is go to one of these categories and you will find a few different items here. Like in this case for the device, we have the battery, the Wi-Fi, the storage, and the clipboard as well. So I can go to one of these and of course you can even customize these like right here on the storage, I can just start the activity to see my storage all the time there or I can go ahead and go to action here and I can add an action like a URL for example for the dynamic island so when I tap on it it will open that URL and again of course when you start the activity you will see right there you can see an icon and then the storage right there and of course tapping on it it will make it bigger show you how much storage you have used and of course how much storage you have left on your device. Lock Launcher is the next one. It's a very popular app. You probably have heard about this and seen this before on my videos. But in this case, we're talking not about live activities, but the dynamic island. Now, of course, we can have the same as live activities on the dynamic island. We can have the apps there and, of course, launch any of the apps directly from the dynamic island. But it also does a few other things. If you scroll down here, you will find your dynamic island settings. Now you will have left display and right display. So I can go to the right display, in this case, this one right here, and I can choose what I want to see there, like CPU usage, and then the left one of, as well. Of course, you can choose up there to see maybe your weather or anything else you want. Now, what you can do now is tap the dumb button. And once you're out, you can see right there, it shows in this case on the right side, my CPU usage, and then the date right there, which is really cool. Expanding it, of course, it will show you the apps, which you can again launch directly from here. So it's pretty cool. When it's hidden, you will have other info. When you expand it, you will have the apps that you can quickly launch from here. My list is the next app for the video. It allows us to create like different tasks that you have to do and have them right on your dynamic island. So here I have one of them, this one right here, which again is pretty cool because you can customize it. You can add an icon and you can even add a link to it. So you can attach a link. So if you have, let's say like a task of something you have to do with it and you have a link certain for that, then you can go ahead and add the link as well. So we can edit this and you can see we have the title there, the content, then you will have the link as as well. Once you have saved it, of course, you can now have it on your live activity and of course on your dynamic island simply by enabling this button right here, tap on save and now there it goes. You can see the icon and the name of the reminder right there. Once you expand it here, you can see it will show you like the link as well and I can tap here to open that link directly on Safari. Next up is an app called My Moves. Now this is really interesting. It will basically track your moves, your elevation, your average speed, your maximum speed, and of course, time distance and all that stuff. You have, of course, to use this with location services turned on and you can have it right on the dynamic island. So this is good maybe for hiking or when you go to walks or something like that. You can just start it right here and you don't need to be into the app. 
you have it on the dynamic island once you expand it you will see here your speed your average speed maximum speed distance that you have walked and of course kilometers per hour right there and the time as well so it's really awesome anytime you open it you can see it will show you all the different information of course you need to be moving for these to actually change on the dynamic island dynamic x is the next one for the video it allows us to have different informations on the dynamic island of your device now this is a preset here on the app we can start this and you can see it will monitor the internet of your device we can start the activity right there and it goes straight into the dynamic island and you can see all the different information you need to know right here by expanding the dynamic island now of course you can create your own ones right there you can choose what you want to see there so things like from the upload speed to download speed and you will have other stuff here some of them are paid so you will need to pay a premium subscription but you will have also a bunch that are actually free that you can add there and basically create your own live activity and then just add it to your dynamic island next one is flighty now flight is a very popular app that allows us to track different flights and it works with the dynamic island and it's actually really really good so here we're tracking a flight now what we can do here is of course get out of the app and you can see right there it shows the arrival time and right there the number of the flight of course expanding it you will see here way more information you can see here the departure time the arriving time and of course everything else you need to know about that flight and it actually even looks good they have done a great job with this one they have designed it the way it should it looks good and of course it's very useful the next one for the video is called sticky timers now this is a simple app that allows you to have timers on the dynamic island and it has here some presets so you don't need to create a timer if you just want to use any one of these or of course you can just go ahead and create your own and then once you have started a timer you of course will have it right there on the dynamic island you can see it looks pretty good it will have the timer showing up there all the time so you'll see the countdown live whenever you are anywhere on your device of course expanding it you will see it on a like a bigger size and you will have more timers here if you have multiple timers turned on you will see up to three different timers and of course a button right there that even allows you to stop these timers directly from the dynamic island without you having to open the app at all the next one is called shelf now with shelf you will be able to create your own like live activities and dynamic island stuff from the app right here so what you have is things like social apps you can have like a bunch of social apps right there on the dynamic island which of course you can open directly from here or you can just have things like productivity like have shortcuts there which is really awesome and very useful as well and maybe even just like quotes or something you want to add and here's one that i like this one that i said here from the productivity section which allows to add like different shortcuts we tap right there on add action and i can choose a link open an app or run a shortcut which is really useful now all you have to do here is just enter the name of the shortcut and it needs to be the exact name that's on the shortcuts app and once you have done that of course you will be able to just tap on launch here and you will have it on the dynamic island now once i just expand this you can see i can open the music app turn on the work focus mode and then of course i have that shortcut which allows me to open the camera app directly from here and last but not least is live to do this allows to have a to-do list on the dynamic island which in my opinion is very useful so let's say you're shopping you want to have like a grocery list there or just stuff that you have to do maybe at school or at work or somewhere else all you have to do is just come here tap the plus button to add items to your list once you have done that you simply tap that button right there and tap on start live activity and there you have it you will have your list there the title of the list and the number of items that you have on that list of course once you expand it you will see the full list of everything that you will have to do which is very very useful so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the apps if you're interested on any of these apps and you want to download them on your device make sure to check the pinned comment all the links will be there hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one